Hello, my name is Leanne Adams. I am the subject officer responsible for biology at WJC EDUCAS. This presentation gives you an overview of the new specification for A-level biology in England for first teaching from September 2015. EDUCAS is the new brand from WJC set up to provide reformed GCSE and A-level qualifications in England and other jurisdictions that are able to offer Ofqual regulated qualifications. Information will be provided in this presentation on the assessment of the qualification, content, practical work, assessment objectives, question types and resources. Specifications for both AS and A-level biology together with the specimen assessment materials are available to download from our website. There are two components in the new EDUCAS AS Biology qualification. They are both written examinations and each contribute 50% to the qualification. In both components, learners will be required to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. Both components will be available for the first time in summer 2016 and the AS qualification will be awarded for the first time in summer 2016. This is a linear qualification and so both units must be taken at the end of the course. If candidates wish to resit the qualification, both components will have to be retaken. Each topic within the new specification is laid out in a similar manner. Alongside the actual subject content, the following guidance is provided to aid the teaching of the topic. There is a working scientifically section which highlights the practical skills which could be developed in the topic. There is a mathematical skills section which identifies the mathematical skills which feature in the topic. There is also a how science works section which identifies where how science works skills could be developed within the section. In addition, if appropriate, specified practical work is listed at the end of the topic. These are practical activities which must be undertaken and may be assessed in the written examinations. So let's look now at each of the components. Firstly, component one is worth 75 marks and has an examination time of one and a half hours. This slide summarizes the topics which feature in the component. Component two is also worth 75 marks and has an examination time of one and a half hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in the component. There are three components in the new EDUCAS A level. They are all written examinations. The first component is Energy for Life. The second component is Continuity of Life. And the third component is Requirements for Life which also contains the option topics. Each component is equally weighted and contributes 33.3% to the qualification. In all components, learners will be required to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. All three components will be available for the first time in summer 2017 and the A-level qualification will be awarded for the first time in summer 2017. This is a linear qualification, so all units must be taken at the end of the course. If candidates wish to resit the qualification, all components will have to be retaken. The first section of content within the A-level specification is the core concepts section, the content of which could be examined within any of the three components which follow. These overlap with the content of the first AS component, 
and are essential for the understanding of all areas of biology. So let's look now at each of the components. Firstly, component 1 is worth 100 marks and has an examination time of 2 hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in this component. Component 2 is worth 100 marks and has an examination time of 2 hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in this component. Component 3 is worth 100 marks and has an examination time of 2 hours. The topics which make up the unit are listed on the slide. The written examination is comprised of two sections. Section A contains questions on the compulsory topics in the unit, while Section B contains the option questions. Three option topics are available. Immunology and disease, human musculoskeletal anatomy and neurobiology and behaviour. They have all been developed to bring a breadth of understanding and choice within the specification. This slide shows the content within option A, immunology and disease. This slide shows the content within option B, Human musculoskeletal anatomy. This slide shows the content within option C Neurobiology and behaviour. This slide summarises the main changes that have been made to the content contained in the AS specification when compared to the legacy WJEC biology specification. This slide summarises the main changes that have been made to the content contained in A level when compared to the legacy WJC biology specification. This slide shows how the topics which make up both the AS and A-level qualifications allow the two qualifications to be co-teachable. The new specification has been developed to allow practical work to be an integral part of the teaching and learning of the subject. The specified practical work that features in the specification must be carried out. However, there is flexibility in the method that could be followed for each of the practicals. So, how will practical skills be assessed? In the AS qualification, there is no practical endorsement. On the two written examination papers, questions will feature that will assess the practical skills of the candidates. A minimum of 15% of the marks in each AS series will be linked to the assessment of practical skills. In the A-level qualification, there is the practical endorsement. And on the three written examination papers, questions will feature that will assess the practical skills of the candidates. A minimum of 15% of the marks in each A-level series will be linked to the assessment of practical skills. So, to pass the practical endorsement, 
Learners will need to consistently and routinely exhibit five different competencies. They will develop these competencies by carrying out a minimum of 12 practical activities which cover a range of techniques. This slide lists the assessment objectives for both AS and A-level biology. This slide lists the weighting of the assessment objectives for both AS and A-level biology. The weighting of AO2 is the same for both qualifications. However, there is a greater weighting of AO3 in the A-level qualification compared to the AS. A number of different question types will feature on the examination papers. Questions which will assess the quality of extended responses will be clearly identified and referred to on the front page of the examination paper. They will be worth nine marks each. It is a requirement of all AS and A-level specifications that learners understand the connections between the different elements of the subject. This means that some questions in each component will require learners to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. There are many resources that are available or will be available to support the teaching of a new A-level qualification. These include an interactive teacher guide, updated revision guides and new textbooks and a free question paper database. In addition, lab books will be available for purchase, guidance will be provided on general practical skills, and guidance for each of the specified practical tasks will be available. We will also send out email bulletins on a regular basis, giving important updates and news items. You can subscribe to these on the EDUCAST WJC A-Level Biology web page. Finally, there are various websites that you can access directly. Should you have any questions regarding the new A-level biology qualification, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening.